know I'm seeing that this eyes inner corner is messed up like what's up yeah now it looks better I don't know how long I have to wait for the dog to stop barking and the vendor to stop selling seriously what's wrong with me are why can't I get to speak come on let's do this Till I get up, time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good in your life. So first of all, I want to wish each and every one of you a very, very, very happy Navratri season. I hope that you're having a good time and enjoying uh, this festive season and having the best time of your life, basically. Coming over to this video, this is a makeup tutorial as you have already seen. And I have come up with a blue smoky eye. And uh, I know that the day, the day of the blue color has already gone, but you know, it's you can wear this look for the garba or ya koi function ya kisi bhi aise occasion mein jo aap in dino mein attend karte hain zaruri nahi hai ki aap eye makeup ko bhi color ke din ke hisab se chune but anyway aap chahe to kar sakte hain that's the best thing about smoky eye you can just change the eye shadow color and the technique still remains the same it is easy to follow aur aap के पास जो कलर है या आप जो कलर का करना चाहते हैं स्मोकी आए आप वो कलर स्मोकी आए कर सकते हैं सो विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स क्विकली जंप ऑन टू द मेकअप ट्यूटोरियल एंड इफ यू रियली एंजॉय वाचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज डू लिव इन अ लाइक एंड आल्सो योर कमेंट एंड लेट मी नो व्हाट यू थिंक अबाउट दिस मेकअप लुक एंड इफ यू न्यू हियर डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल I don't know if you know my name but my name is Ruhi because my channel doesn't say my name so I have to I think I should start saying my name um subscribe and be a part of my makeup addict family now let's go to the tutorial and see how to create this beautiful navratri makeup look okay so i'm going to first do my eye makeup um but before i do that i'm going to apply the patanjali saundarya aloe vera kesar chandan gel i've heard it actually helps to prime the skin as well and i'm using this uh, gel these days as my you can say my first like a uh, serum because um, i had it for a while and i just didn't use it but when i'm starting to use it um i'm actually liking it so i'm going to take a painterly paint pot and uh, this is by mac this is just a primer obviously we need a primer because you're going to be um doing garba and you're going to be out and about so you want to make sure that your eyes are primed for the next step i'm going to take this gel liner from l'oreal and this is called sapphire blue and it's basically this blue gel liner it's a really dark blue gel liner and this i'm going to take on a brush like this i'm going to take it all over as a base then with a cleaner blending brush just make sure that the edges are softened Next I'm going to uh, take this gel liner and this is called Royal Blue. So as compared to Sapphire Blue, you can see this is Royal Blue and this is Sapphire Blue. This is little obviously like a ink color. This is more dark and intense. So this is what I'm going to take. You're not going to take it very high up here. You're just going to keep it down. So what this is going to do is it's going to not only intensify your blue look but it's also going to add as you can see now it's become more uh, vibrant and of course when we will put a blue eye shadow it will look even better next up i'm going to take this pack neutral brown eye shadow and i'm going to take um this brown which is like a neutrally brown because we want some uh, we want to Oh, my brush set fell down we want to uh, soften this and give the crease a little bit of warmth and dimension so brown shadows are very very important so just go over that I want to take this orangey color with the same brush because uh, we are all working with neutrals here 
this orange is very pigmented and it's like really warm so you need to make sure that you're not adding a lot and I'm just going it here on the upper crease this way so now you see our blue smoky eyes is slowly coming next I'm going to take this eyeshadow by MAC this is called deep truth and I'm going to apply it wet so I'm going to take the MAC fix plus wet my brush and then apply if you have a metallic or a shimmery blue eyeshadow you can very much apply that as well PAC has come up with some beautiful pressed pigments and uh, you know uh, shimmer eyeshadows uh, you can choose when I don't have any of them so I'm just working with what I have so that's how your eyes should look then with a smaller blending brush like this what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another blue eyeshadow and this eyeshadow is called contrast so I'm going to just take this eyeshadow called contrast on this brush and uh, we're just going to work this eyeshadow above here where we had the gel liner just going back and forth with the colors here blending because we don't want any harsh lines or um, you know lines that would actually not look good so we're just going to keep blending for highlight I'm going to take short shorts this is my favorite eyeshadow and this is a small brush that I'm taking this is the Morphe M213 and I'm going to highlight my brow bone area and I love this brush because it just highlights so beautifully and you have to excuse my eyebrows if you can actually see them I just I just have to get them done today but I thought I should film first okay so I will quickly finish this eye also and be right back okay so I'm back and I've done both my eyes and I've also taken the liberty to finish my eyebrows off camera because I have a whole video on how I do my brows so I'll link it down below let's move further also what I have done is I have just added a black liner I used the L'Oreal Kajal Magic Bold and I just did the liner add false lashes because they will definitely take this whole makeup look to the next level I'm not going to do that because I don't know false lashes and me are just not the best friends what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same Kajal Magic and I'm going to do the waterline that was the amount of all of that's horrible Actually, when you work with dark colors, it's always, always you should do your foundation last because like after you've done your eye makeup because then this is what happens, you know, um, the fallouts and everything just make things so much worse. And trust me, spending all time doing your foundation and then only realizing that uh, my makeup has screwed it up doesn't help. I just realized because our eyes are so intense, I'm going to add a pop up pop off highlighter in the inner corner so I'm going to take the same short shorts highlighter and I'm just going to highlight the inner corner because you'll be doing all this garba stuff in the night so it's always better to you know um, not have sleepy eyes just adding a pop off highlighter so for the pores I'm going to use the color bar um, perfect match primer because uh, you all have seen I have a lot of them here and uh, this is a great primer for just the pores so I just apply it here instantly it just blurs out the um, skin pores and it just makes the skin look really nice foundation I'm going to take the L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation I have the shade 207 sand beige and I'm going to directly take it onto the brush this is very liquidy it's so hard to do makeup sitting right here if you have a very oily skin uh, take a matte foundation the Pro Matte Foundation which is available in India also now. The concealer also I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer just because I've used that foundation. Uh, I'm going to stick with the same concealer. I'm also going to set the concealer with the banana powder. I'm going to take the same eyeshadow which is called Deep Truth and this eyeshadow I'm going to put in my, under my lower lashes. So I'm going to smudge this under the lower lashes. Not bringing it all the way to the inner corner. But just concentrating it 
outer two thirds. Final step is mascara and I'm using my Lash Sensational. Love this one. I already have bought another one. Now if you're a false lash person and you know, you like false lashes, please go ahead and add a pair of dramatic ones right here. Because that will just actually, that will just take this look to a whole other level. All right, so eyes are done. Now we need to bring some color back in this dead face. Okay, so now we're going to do some bronzing, blushing, highlighting. So I'm gonna take the MAC Delphic Bronzer. Just stay under the cheekbone like this. Not creating very harsh contour, but I'm just staying under, under the cheekbone and just blending. For blush, I'm gonna take Peachy Keen. This is a great sort of a peachy pink blush with shimmers in it. For highlighter, I'm gonna take Opal. Love this highlighter a lot. And you can go a little overboard as well. Alright, now lipstick thing is, you can go nude, you can even wear a red lipstick or a dark pink lipstick, it doesn't really matter, but for me, I just prefer my, I like my face with a, uh, either a dramatic eye or a dramatic lip, very rarely have I gone with both options. So I'm going to take the infallible pro matte gloss and this one is in the shade um, Statement Nude and this is how it looks, I'm going to add this, this is a very soft matte lip cream I can say. So this is it, this is a completed look. I really hope that you have enjoyed watching this video and um, have enjoyed this makeup look, also loved it. Um, like I said in the beginning, you can play with the colors, the technique still remains the same or up colors badal sakte hai as per your liking and as per your, um, I don't know if you want to go by the color theme, aap us hisaab se apne ye colors badal sakte hai. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Agar aapko ye video pasand aya ho, to please ek like leave kar dije or और कमेंट में जरूर बताइए मुझे कि आपको कैसा लगा ये मेकअप लुक और मैं आपसे जल्द ही अगले वीडियो में मिलूंगी और तब तक अपना ख्याल रखिए एंड आई विल टॉक टू यू ऑल वेरी सून इन माय नेक्स्ट वन बाय